Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and I was listening to social psychologist Nick Epley describe his social connection experiment, and it's so fascinating that I had to share it with you. So Nick Epley is a professor and researcher out of the University of Chicago Booth School of Business. His credentials are long and robust, and I have started down that road. We'd never get to the good stuff. So just assume his credentials are top notch. You can also Google him if you want. So Epley's experiment that I'm going to explain started with really just an observation. He was thinking about literature demonstrating how important social connection was for our happiness and our well-being. And yet, every day when he took the commuter train into the office in Chicago, he noticed people in very close proximity to one another actively avoiding social connection. He knew he wanted to do his own social experiment. He asked for volunteers, and in exchange for a $5 Starbucks gift card, he asked that they complete a survey. With these volunteers, he created three groups. The first group was told to just keep to themselves, just enjoy your solitude on the train ride, and that is the solitude condition. The second group was the control condition. They told them to just do whatever you normally would do on the ride, and today is a is just normal, keep to yourself, sit alone, sit by yourself at least, just whatever you normally would do. And then the third group, they told they were told to do something, perhaps somewhat radical. That is when somebody came and sat next to them. They were asked to try to form a connection with that person. Try to get to know something about him or her. And that's all he told the volunteers. So after their commute, they were asked to fill out a survey. The same survey for everyone. The survey included a bunch of items. The first three were the ones that they really cared about. The volunteers were asked, how sad are you today after your commute? How happy are you? How pleasant was your commute compared to normal? Epley and his team averaged these first three together and found something really interesting. We talked in an earlier episode way, way back about how people might think that connecting with a stranger kind of stinks. It's unpleasant. It just feels uncomfortable. But actually, this experiment found that to be that to be totally wrong. What they found was that people in connection in their connection group, they were actually reporting more positive experience and people in the solitude group were reporting the least positive experience. So. Just like we see over and over again in experiments, right? Connecting with other with another person was pleasant. It improved your well-being and improved your mood. So the question is, why don't people do it? Well, that's what we're going to dive into tomorrow. Connecting with strangers turns out to be surprisingly pleasant.